Uh, dear all, uh, let me discuss top low cost mini projects suitable for electrical and electronics, then electronics and communication engineering, instrumentation engineering, etc., which is most easy to develop. So these are the projects which you can use it as mini projects. So the topic is automatic battery level monitoring and cutoff system. The ultimate purpose of this project is to monitor the battery voltage and disconnect the load when the voltage drops below the safe limit. And it will ensure the battery protection. A simple prototype will be developed. The working principle that is based on the voltage division principle and uh, you will be using the application of op-amp. So it will compare uh, the voltage. It will act as a comparator, right? That's application. If the voltage is too low, the relay cut off from the output load. That is a key principle applied here. We require LM358 operational amplifier and or if I want to have like a microcontroller, let us use Arduino. So you have to produce the proper coding. It's already available. Directly you can uh, burn it. Relay module is needed. Then voltage divider circuit, rechargeable battery. Then we need uh, the load. You can use it as LED strip or motor. LED strip is better because uh, we, we can save the power and we require very light power right, compared to motor. For motor, we require motor driver. It may, be, it may need a little bit complication. So let us make it very simple by using the LED lamp. The block diagram is following in this fashion. We have a battery. The battery voltage is like sensed by using a voltage divider. Voltage divider is connected with the help of open. It will act as a comparator. Instead of open, we can use microcontroller. Uh, then uh, the output of open that is going to give the relay. Then relay is fed to the load. Here you can use uh, uh, the thing. You can use like a micro like a uh, led as a load right then how the voltage divider works that is actually the voltage is comparing the actual voltage is comparing with the reference voltage and the output the volt like uh, it will activate the uh, relay correct that's actually the operation plus points of this project is prevent the deep discharge of battery it will ensure the battery protection extend the battery lifespan of course fully automatic control so these are the advantages for possible enhancement is you can add the bursar and the alert system. So the authority will come to know that uh, there is an issue with the battery. Deep discharge is happening. So they are directly going to turn off the system. Also, you can use the GSM module for the further enhancement. Show exact battery percentage on the LCD. That means proper monitoring also should be displayed. So another project I would like to suggest to you is temperature control to fan system. The purpose is to design the fan control system that automatically operate based on the room temperature. That means energy saving concept. Working principle is we require LM35 temperature sensor which sends the ambient temperature. When the temperature crosses the threshold, what will happen? Or like Arduino activate the relay that will turn on the fan. So that fan is going to be operated. When the, when the fan turn off, when the temperature drops below the threshold, fan is going to be off. Because uh, no people like a, like a fan has to be turned off. If no appliances, fan has to be turned off. That's a simple mechanism. We, In order to develop the pro, pro, project, we will have LM35 temperature sensor. We need Arduino or Atmega32. Then we need a relay module. Then we require either AC fan or DC fan. And uh, we must have a DC power supply of 5 volt. Then we have a wireless and uh, wires and breadboard and a proper stripper. Then block diagram is as follows. We, we have a temperature sensor. Output of temperature sensor is fed to the uh, like uh, analog pin of Arduino. Then uh, we have a uh, relay uh, then which is connected with the fan. Depends on the temperature, relay will be activated. Fan is going to be operated. But the advantages of the projects are save the energy by running only when needed. Can be used for greenhouses uh, like a homes control panel. Basically, this concept is applied in the uh, like a smart building, easy to modify threshold and via code. That is a plus point if you go for Arduino. Possible enhancements are add the LCD to display the temperature, use IoT to log, log and monitor the temperature data. The pro, the as we discussed, we have discussed two important projects. Uh, you can see the battery level. Uh, sorry, uh, the budget level for the battery level monitoring system. You need to spend only three hundred to six hundred rupees. It's a, a like a basic application. We need operational amplifier. Uh, battery protection, etc. Next is actually temperature control fan system. We need the budget of up to 900 rupees. It's an intermediate level. Uh, we need the sensor microcontroller automation. You should you can directly use the microcontroller programming. Ordinary programming uh, directly is available in the GitHub or any other sources. So uh, thank you for watching this video. Let me continue the remaining session in the third part. Happy learning. I wish you all the very best for your project. 
do well because it is most important for your uh, viva examination as well as it is most important for cracking the interview okay that's what i'm saying that it is most important take it very serious and do the project make the system very effective happy learning wish you all the very best if you are watching our channel first time please subscribe also share the channel uh, with the stakeholders those who are concerned with respect to this domain happy